it's Catherine from Cascade Sciences and today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the gasket that we use on our CVO ovens and routine maintenance. So on our uh, CVO 5 and CVO 10 ovens, the glass is our actual sealing, uh, sealing surface against the flange that ho hosts the gasket. The reason that this is a great technology is that this spring-loaded glass is extremely flat, provides an excellent um, flat surface. Um, our manufacturing technology robotically welds these beautiful um, three or four stainless interior chambers, all very uniform. They seal against the glass with the use of a gasket. Now I wanted to look at this gasket here because um, I think that the orange silicone is a little bit easier to see um, the way that this works. We have essentially a, a false O-ring in this gasket where there's this ridge that protrudes all the way around acting like an O-ring on this gasket that sandwiches right over the flange. One thing you'll notice when you get your oven is that written somewhere in silver sharpie is some information that includes the part number of your gasket as well as when it was cured and some information from quality. All of these gaskets are pre-cured before they go on your oven. The reason that that's important is that in a vacuum oven, obviously, this gasket's going to be exposed not only to um, the difficulty of vacuum and heat, but also the pressure of that door smashing against it. So these gaskets are um, exposed to a lot of processing parameters in terms of that vacuum pressure and heat, and so they will off-gas. If your manufacturer doesn't pre-off-gas these gaskets, that means that they're off-gassing all over your product. And um, I feel free to call um, the other manufacturers and ask them if at their plant in China they're pre-off-gassing these, and I'll bet you that they're not. So that's stuff that's going to be going into your product. We wouldn't let that happen at Cascade, so you can tell that we do that beforehand. What I like to point out is that when you get your oven, that writing is usually going to be on this leading edge over here. It's important to remember that because one way you can maintain your gasket's life over time is that every couple of months or so when you do your standard inspection of the gasket, you could rotate it and you can remember which side had the writing on it and then rotate it 90 degrees. When you inspect your gasket, you're going to want to remove it from the oven when it's absolutely cold. So it is essential, never ever, even if you think that there's a problem and you want to look at it or inspect it, don't ever remove a warm gasket. Um, it's going to stretch out of shape and it's like trying to put toothpaste back in the tube. You're never going to fix it. So once you've pulled a warm gasket off and it's stretched out of shape, then that's a hundred dollar mistake that you'll never make again, right? So taking your gasket off, in order to inspect it, you're just going to want to gently separate the gasket and take a look inside and you'd be looking for any areas that are obviously um, thin or even slicing through. That would be in a gasket that's maybe six months to a year old. Um, you could see just the differences in these two materials here. This black gasket that comes standard with our ovens is made of Buna or N-Buna. Uh, you can look up the compat compatibility chart online if you just google N-Buna, B-U-N-A, compatibility. Um, and see that it's very well suited for um, applications where there is a, any sort of solvent present. Certainly terpenes I would include um, in the solvents that this is exposed to. The silicone gasket, this orange silicone, which again pre-off-gassed in all cascade ovens, has a higher temperature range, about double that of the Buna, um, but it's highly susceptible to solvents. So anything like butane, propane, ethanol um, is absolutely going to eat through this gasket and degrade it. So it's a little bit of, um, it's, a, it's a balancing act to choose which gasket is best for your oven. For our low temp versions that are usually going into botanical extraction applications, uh, we always send standard with Buna. On our high temp ovens, we have silicone. And then if you have a high temp, 
and potentially a solvent situation, we have Viton, but that has limitations as well. So for our botanical applications, we love uh, this Buna gasket. One of the things that I would have you consider, so here I know that when I started, the writing was on this side, so I'm just gonna rotate that 90 degrees and put this gasket back. Super simple to slip on, just goes right over this edge. Because the door is our actual ceiling surface, and we also know that um, because of the window, the door is going to be cooler, um, it is possible to get condensation on the door if you're running the vacuum oven not under vacuum. So in applications where you might have some product just sitting in the oven and um, being exposed to heat or off-gassing a little bit prior to actually vacuum processing, if you're not running the oven under vacuum, you may get condensation on the window and that condensation is gonna drip right down the glass and just bleed all over this poor little gasket and it's gonna pool here and puddle and it will degrade your gasket. So if you have an application where you want to expose a product to heat but not vacuum, my suggestion is not using a vacuum oven. We have water baths for that, we have forced air ovens, we have reactors, we have lots of different um, heat treating equipment that could be proper for that application. So putting um, open jars or trays in a vacuum oven and not having it under vacuum is going to cause you trouble with your gasket and it's just not, um, it's not the right application for the unit. So if that's your process, give us a call. We can certainly get you set up with some other equipment. But the important thing to know now is don't allow, if you start seeing streaks on the front of your oven, if you start seeing anything build up, you wanna keep that glass immaculately clean. That's going to be the most intimate contact with this gasket and keeping the glass clean and condensation free is the number one way to maintain your gasket. Number two would be regular inspection of a cold gasket, certainly looking inside, like I demonstrated, to make sure that there aren't any cracks or any areas that are thinning. And then general hygienic cleanliness, making sure that we're cleaning any spilled solvents or terpenes very quickly. Uh, these gaskets are very robust, but they are a consumable item. Um, I would keep at least one on hand and if I had multiple ovens, maybe a couple. We're happy to overnight these um, to you anytime, but it's a pain to be down. So if you think you have a leak because of the gasket, once you've placed the order for your new gasket, one way that maybe you can get by for just a couple of days until you have your new one is to do that rotation trick I showed you. So your gasket might be a little bit worn out on one side, but if you rotate it, you might be able to get a few more uses out of it. If you notice over time that your gasket is wearing out always in one spot, one thing I would recommend is looking at the way the door closes. So if you watch real carefully, it's gonna be hard to see with the camera, but you can do it with your own oven. We want the glass to press against the gasket almost all at the same time, which means it's real important that these floating hinges over here on this side and the floating hinges both on the receiver and the handle of the latch are set appropriately so that you're not getting some pinch points um, and really uh, hurting the gasket and providing a, putting a lot more pressure on it in one place than another. So if you're always wearing out in one spot, give us a call. It's really easy uh, with just a socket set to adjust the floating hinges or the latch and kind of get that alignment right so that this spring-loaded glass is pressing evenly against the gasket. Uh, it's a really small part of the vacuum oven, but it's a very important part because it's going to be responsible. It's kind of our first line of defense against leaks. Um, so we want to make sure that we keep this gasket in good shape so that this oven is constantly in production and making money. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out on our website. Uh, Instagram or give us a call at the office and we'd be glad to help.